Have you ever had an amazing conversation with somebody, like a really amazing conversation, and then after the conversation, you realize that you don't remember anything that they said, but you just really remember how they made you feel? Well, today in this episode, I'm going to break down for you the best way that you can begin to take that conversation and how you can extract everything you need from it. All right, let's get into the episode. Welcome to Beyond the Ball Podcast. What's going on, family? What's going on, family? Welcome to another episode of Beyond the Ball, where we help you succeed beyond your degree. Today, what we're talking about is plain and simple. It's something that I was introduced to maybe like three years ago but an informational interview, all right? So look, check this out. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. People always talk about student athletes not going pro and why they can't be successful, but we don't talk about how we can help them get to wherever they desire to get to in the next phase of their life. So I wanted to be a part of the solution and not part of the problem. I wrote a free ebook for you and it breaks down seven different ways to how you can prepare for transition post-graduation. Click the link just down below, download it, get it for free, and let me know if I missed anything. All right, back to the episode. Based on where you are in your collegiate journey, okay, you're going to meet a lot of people. You're going to have many times to have amazing and dynamic conversations. But if you never take the time to capture those conversations, then you're never going to be able to apply the information that these people give you. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So look, the first thing I want you to do is this. Begin to think about three different areas, focuses, or career paths that you might have an interest in, right? So, so let's say one is being an author. Let's say one is being an engineer. And let's say another might be to be a social media influencer, right? Author, engineer, social media influencer, okay? And when you write those down, the next etiquette dinner you go to for your school, the next networking night that you have, the next job fair you go to, when you began to look at and meet different people and hear about different jobs and things like that, you can have those three interests down or others. And then when you begin to find people who do those things, right? First thing you need to introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Katie Thomas. Hi, Katie Thomas. I'm Jonathan. Nice to meet you. I would love to learn more about how you got into doing what you currently do now. And they say, Katie, that was a great question. And then they'll begin to explain. But before they get there, you say, hold on, wait one second. Do you, remind, do you mind if I record this conversation? More likely than not, they'll say, no, it's not a problem. You just want to let them know that you really value what they're saying and you want to make sure that you apply the information that they share. So now this is when you pull up your phone and you open up the voice memo app, okay? And then you hit record and then you hold it up as they speak. As they share, you listen. You don't interrupt them. You listen, you listen, and you listen, all right? And then you listen some more. And then after that, you say, thank you for sharing that information with me. Of course, if you have any questions, this is the time to ask them a couple of questions. But if no questions come to mind, this is where we do the third part of what I'm going to tell you to do is get their card, their telephone number, their email address, and then ask them, do you mind if I follow up with you next week or a couple days away? And they'll say, no, that's not a problem. And then you proceed to either look up some of the information that they shared on how they got started or what they told you to do to get started. And then when you send them an email, you say, hi, such and such. I just want to let you know that I took your advice and I applied it and I would love if you have any further feedback or information to share with me. All right. So, so far we've identified three interests. After we identified the three interests, we find three people or people who do those particular things. 
And then following that, that's when we get their contact information so that we can follow up with them. All right. So if that makes sense, if that doesn't make sense, then comment down below in the comment box. And I I'd love to connect with you to help you get further clarity. But if it does, I would encourage you to interview the people in person or if they don't have time or it's too loud around you, set up a time and get them on a Zoom call and resort, record the Zoom call. So now you can capture what they say and you can apply each step by step by step. This is Jonathan Jones, and this has been Beyond the Ball, where we help you succeed beyond your degree. If you enjoyed this content, be sure to smash the subscribe button or hit the or drop a comment on YouTube. And I hope to see you on the other side.